demonstration is more specific because Parliament will be deba debating the issue of sanctions on Israel next week. This is really important. It's uh, unprecedented that parliamentarians would be talking about that. All these coffins right here, these are all the young children that have been killed, they've been murdered in cold blood in Gaza. We need to boycott all Israeli products. We can't be having Starbucks cups sitting on our bedroom table and still come out to protest at the same time. Petitioning, boycott, divestment, sanctions, watch where you spend your money. Watch where you buy your dates from, your products. Does it support the apartheid? In South Africa, that's how they toppled it. Common people getting together, making a change, and not buying things that will support the occupation. We are Jews who stand shoulder to shoulder with the Palestinians. If they can't take part in big sporting events because people are opposed to them or boycotting them, that will hit them in the way that it hit South Africa. That's what will make a difference. How important is that the British government is discussing sanctions? A absolutely critical because the petition has resulted in a parliamentary debate. I've raised the issue of arms sales, as has other MPs, particularly Richard Bergen, and there's going to be a debate next week on the issue of sanctions, and I think it's interesting that the public pressure is now building up for that. Join the NEU, join Unite, tell them now to apply the motion they passed in 2010. We don't want any members of these unions making weapons that are sent to Israel to use on the people of Gaza and other places in Palestine. Yes! less than 15 years old now have seen four wars enough enough the international law is very clear when a country violates the very basic provisions of law and israel has been inconsistent violation of international law sanctions are not only a choice sanction is a duty of all members of the international community so the argument now is why the world has put israel above the law why israel has been an exception to the rule My message is, end the occupation, end the settlements, end the siege of Gaza, but above all, and the G7 could do this, unconditionally recognise the state of Palestine. Our strength is the truth behind our message. Stand together for the freedom of the people of Palestine and the unity of all of the peoples in all countries across the Middle East. Thank you.